already in the process here. Just making a little bit of coffee. That's probably the most important thing. Get it plugged up. Oh, come on, plug in, plug in. All right. So, got the Dunkin' Donuts, Colombian. So if any of you guys with the Keurig don't know, you can buy one of these. It's just like a little Keurig thing, and you just put your own coffee in there. So that's what we're going to do. That'll work. See that coffee pot here comes with like this little, see like the, there's this, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the little needle that would usually poke your 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 little Keurig thing here. But this one's got a little slot where you can just slide right in. Shut her down. Boom, there you go. Yeah, that's about it. So I usually gotta do like two of these little cups to fill my cup up, because it don't fit, so. So we'll do like two of those, then we'll have some coffee. So uh, let's go do a pre-trip real quick. This, uh, this loves not, come on, there we go, a little chilly out here. This loves is not Leia, Leia approved. <laughs> Look at this. It just rocks the whole way down and around, man. Terrible. So we've already done our pre-trip here. We're just kind of doing a last look over. Making sure we didn't miss anything. I think we're good. Things a little slow. So, one cup down. See what I mean? It's like half full, so just kind of put your cover on. Do it again. All right. How about this? Looks like the coffee and the eggs are done at the same time. back on my creamer Just put a little bit of sugar in here what do you think sugar sugar all right that's it man for the coffee all right back from the walk she's good come here Alright, let's go. Let's get some food. Ah, right, get over here. Uh, you're probably ready for 
food. Whoa, that sun is bright. All right. Boom, there you go. Food's on, food's on. All right, let's get this cleaned up. We gotta go inside. Oh, center hauling. We have about <clears throat> man, a little over 1,300 miles to deliver. About a little less than 1,200 miles to the house. So we're gonna have we gotta have a good day today, or good day all around. Good day miles. Good day traffic. Good day everything. Oh, by the way, we gotta go through San Antonio, uh, Houston. Um, <laughs> Baton Rouge, yeah, all that good stuff today. So, <laughs> but it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Light load, seventeen thousand pounds. Sun in your face, yeah. We are heading. Which way are we heading? Are we going north or south? Man, I'm lost right now. Ah, just kidding. Sunglasses. <clears throat> Got our fuel stop scheduled for uh, Beaumont, Texas. Just a little under half a tank right now. Depending if I want to, if I want to sip the fuel, or if we're gonna have to hammer down. But if I want to have a chance to make it home for the night tomorrow, I don't want to say I need to hammer down big time, but I don't think I need to be driving 64 miles an hour either. Oh. I was gonna keep on going straight. I'm new. All right, now we're getting back on 35. already over. He's already knowing he's passing me. Damn, dude. This guy's in a hurry, man. <laughs> he just gave me the... Golly, man. That dude is definitely hammered down, man. <laughs> he's ready to go, man. I was holding him up. Well... For that no much if, if if you're in that much of a hurry then go on brother go on it's like we got about 27 miles of san antonio 
Then we'll hit I-10. Then I-10 all the way to 75. So <clears throat> My best case scenario, I could say. If I can make it to the Florida Welcome Center tonight, that would be outstanding. Oh man, this rest area over here, I stayed there the other night. When I was coming in, that was a mistake. A cluster, a mistake. Oh my gosh, man. So we delivered to uh, Eagle Pass. We delivered to Eagle Pass. They went and picked up in Laredo, and here we are, so. You gotta get through San Antonio and all that good stuff. Oh yeah, I was saying. So yeah, my best case scenario, if I can make it to the Florida Welcome Center on I-10 tonight, that'd be that'd be going, brother. That'd be going. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Right now we gotta get on down the road, get through San Antonio, get through Houston, then we'll stop and get a little bit of fuel. So let's keep on rolling. We'll talk to you guys a little bit. Alright, we made it. Made it to the petrol! much fuel we got we're like under a quarter <laughs> I thought for sure the old gas light was gonna come on Some major construction over here. Took out the iron skillet. I was here a couple, like a couple, probably like four or five days back, and uh, try to get a parking spot. This place was jam packed, but uh, yeah, they took out the iron skillet, and uh, they're putting in a Black Bear Diner. Yeah. further yeah Whew. all right off duty where are we at Beaumont what is that fuel Beaumont B E A U M O N T that sounds right. Texas mileage five, six, three, four, six. Is that eight? All right. Where are we at? Okay. Fuel on duty. Fuel. some fuel oh man
lie the Come on. Slide. Alright. Alright. Alright, let me put my info in here. What? Slide my card again. Alright. Tractor. DEF, yes. These tanks are dry. Oh, oh. Come on. There we go. Getting the DEF. Let's finish this up here. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Oh man. Alright. Off duty. Off duty, off duty. Swift pulling straight through the fuel lane. Nice. Opposite way. Let's pull up here, then we'll run inside and get my receipt. I'm not ready to do my do my break quite yet. I'm gonna drive a little bit farther. Yeah, all right. $410 in fuel. $13 DEF. Woo! All right. So we still have, how much time do we have? I don't even know. Oh, okay. So we still got two hours, two and a half hours till I take a break. So let's see here. What's up the road? Up the road a little bit. Do 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 do. This picture of Egan 100 miles. I think we could probably do that. Just gotta get through Lake Charles. No, I don't want to wait till I get have to get through Baton Rouge to take breaks. So. Egan. So I got 100 miles. 100 miles. 100 miles. Until we take a break. Tanks all filled up. They're all happy. What do we got? Looks like that's what everyone does around here. Is go straight through the pumps. Oh, I was just about to go straight through the pumps and that dude just stopped. Now I guess we'll go out this way. Ah, 
figures. I was going to be one of those guys. One of those guys. And we'll go out this way. Man, we cruised through San Antonio. No problem. Got through Houston. No problem. Then there was an accident like right on the outside of Houston. We got slowed down for a little bit, but I think we were making some pretty dang good time. in his passenger seat <laughs> what in the world I don't even I don't even want to know why he has a mannequin Whew. wow all right not the fact that he has a mannequin in his passenger seat but he had to eventually bring that mannequin into his truck <laughs> and it looks like yeah look at that look at that nice nice the looks that dude must have got bringing a mannequin into his truck 